<laughs> hey guys, so we're headed off to Provincetown, Cape Cod this morning. But before we do that, we're getting an oil change. It's a long drive. Excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. It's gonna be a long drive. <laughs> what did you lose last night? I lost $200. Well, I didn't lose it. <laughs> what did you do with it? I gave it to someone. Okay. I left it somewhere for someone to find on the street. You can't be losing $200 when we're together. Like, together, together. I know. Because I will... You'll beat my ass. I may. Wow, we just got McDonald's, McGriddles, and I've never seen it look so... It looks but bomb. So much like the ad. Like, look at this. That looks pretty exact. It looks bomb. It looks good. I don't want to let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning. You know my life ain't figured out. But I promise if you stick around, it'll never get boring. We'll spend nights cheap red wine. Look at flats, even though we can't afford them. I don't want to let you down. I don't want to lose you now. Will you stay? Even when you want to walk away. When times get bad, we can learn to love what we have. I don't want to let you down. And it's just us. It's just this. It's always very nerve-wracking when you have other professional golfers swinging with this one, aka me, who can't hit a ball for anything. Um, but this golf course is very beautiful. You're the only one I want there at the end of my story. It's the only thing I figured out. Cause everything else in my life without you would be boring. And we'll spend nights, cheap red wine. Get flats even though we can't afford it. Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out It's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living Massage booked at four. Hopefully, it's good um, at the inn that we're staying at, and then dinner at seven. <laughs> yeah. Relaxing day. I am toasty. Yeah, but it felt nice. It was good. Just got out of our massage, and it was. Lush. I got this guy. Had our massage and it was, it was bum. Amazing! Oh. It was pretty good though. So far. Well, there you go, my boyfriend for you, Daniel Huang. Woo! Hold my foot. Hold, um, my, hold my foot. So we just had our spa. It was pretty hold awesome. My foot. Dan, put it down for a second. Three words to describe this weekend. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> You're my anxiety. It's more than a feeling. You were never meant for me. But now I gotta keep it. Oh, it's 
not. It's not over. It was a great time though. We enjoyed. We're going on another vacation without you. We enjoyed Crown Point, Historic Inn. Great four days. Highly recommend. I Historic highly, Inn. Highly Historic Inn. Especially because they have the spa and the, the restaurant. Um, very good. I think that was like probably the best part. So now we're gonna head out. We might stop by a beach on the way home. Um, we are gonna stop by a beach on the way home. And we Audi. And that's it. Settling in, settling down. down, down. I'm so itchy. Everything about this weekend was great except for these bug bites and for some reason they itch more than the other bug bites I've had this summer and I'm in pain. So I am holding myself in this position so that I don't scratch Hey guys, it's Jenny. I'm back. I just wanted to hop on and quickly film an outro and just kind of let you guys know of some of my final thoughts about our trip. I thought I filmed a lot, but I guess I didn't. So the video is a little bit shorter than I anticipated. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Dan and I had a great time. We stayed at the very tip of Cape Cod in, in a town called Provincetown or P-Town. And um, we're hoping that the next time we go, we stay a little closer to like Martha's Vineyard and kind of explore that area. But yeah, it was really beautiful. I would highly recommend it. I think it's a great little getaway that is domestic and somewhere you can all drive if you're on the East Coast. And yeah, the food was great, that people were friendly and the and there's a ton of like hotels and like little inns there. If you guys want to know specifically like where we stayed or what we did, etc., please, you know, leave your questions down below and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, I also want to leave you with this final thought of just letting you guys know that, you know, with everything going on with COVID, I know it's a bit hard to travel and you know do the usual things but i do think it's super important to take time to you know whether it's just rent a hotel room in your city or you know take a hour drive out to a hike um please please uh find some way to decompress escape like your current environment and have time with your loved ones or by yourself. I think that's all really important. We're getting more innovative and we're having the opportunity to check out things closer to us. So I think there's always a silver lining at the end of the day. So just wanted to leave you with that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Angel boy. Never gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you